And now I'd like to welcome uh, to TVP World Tomas Zdechowski, Czech MEP. Hello, sir, and thanks for joining us tonight. Good evening. It's every time it's my pleasure. Well, it's always great to have you on. Now we're talking about the Green Deal, uh, farmers who are protesting, and of course we have the upcoming elections. So uh, let's start off with the farmers here and them having to conform to all these rules and regulations. Uh, do you think there's going to be maybe a recalibration or maybe even a rethink um, as we approach the European elections and, um, and actually have those elections as well? I think that uh, you use very good word, recalibration. Also, it means that it needs any revision. I think that the Green Deal is a very good idea, but the problem was that it was too ideological. Especially Franz Timmermans, the vice president of European uh, Commission, pushed there a lot of things what are not really involved in climate change. And he wanted to really change absolutely the Europe to the green concern. And I think that many of the things what he promoted as a good idea, as a vision, are um, practically not function very well and it's against our com competitiveness of Europe, of European Uni uh, Union. And this is why we need a revision. And I think that next five years it will be time for the revision. And uh, after the European election, there will be big push to European okay. Commission, to new European Commission to change some part of Green Deal, because That's Green Deal is big package. That's very interesting. Now, do you think that the chaos that the Green Deal is causing, do you think it will have an effect on EU politicians that are pushing for it? Do you think um, voters are going to verify them on June 6th and 9th? Absolutely. I think that many voters understand that uh, without <laughs> any a little bit, I will say, activism, they will not change the, the uh, so important document as Green Deal is. And I think that uh, now the protests of uh, agriculture sector shows to politicians that uh, we really need new study. Because sometimes we are pushing for the things what are absolutely nonsense. And I can give you many examples, practical examples. And in the agriculture sector, it, there were a lot of examples, especially from Netherlands and other countries, what the European politicians and especially Franz Timmermans wanted. He wanted to stop increasing production of the milk and cow. And I think it's not in the practical life in really linked with uh, with any reduction of CO2. I think that uh, much more important is global thinking and cooperate with um, the bigger production of the pollution. And this is the China and India. And I think that pressure to the to the farmers, it's uh, a little bit nonsense. I think that it's not needed and it will not the change uh, climate uh, how Mr. Timmermans and his, uh, his office wanted. Right, that's interesting, especially considering that the Netherlands is the biggest food exporter in all of, all of Europe. Um, but concerning the farmers, uh, one of uh, the issues that they have is the use of pesticides and having to get rid of those pesticides and the development of biopesticides here in Europe. Um, even some of the proponents that say that uh, Europeans should adapt to biopesticides, well, they're at a disadvantage at the moment uh, just because of the development and approval process of such pesticides, those biopesticides, and, and gives actually a really big lag time to Europe's biggest competitors. Um, so maybe those are the types of provisions that need to be tweaked a little bit and perhaps even reconsidered. Yes, you gave the concrete example when we can see that it's not really in very short time something to change. I think that if you want to use the bio uh, pesticides, you need much more longer time because it's now in this moment very costly. And uh, in many, um, many uh, small farms, 
they know that the production it will be not competitive with bigger pro, uh, production and with production from the China, from the north of uh, Africa, and of course from the south of uh, south of America. And um, if we want really the bio products and uh, the the production without chemistry. We need much more time, and it's not right. easy really change everything in very short time with this huge pressure of the uh, of the European Commission. Well, it certainly seems like the politicians want vast developments in technology to make their dream a reality, uh, but the current science says otherwise. Uh, meanwhile, the, the European Union wants to drastically increase its exports of agricultural products and food to China. Um, so I also see sort of a, well, sort of an oxymoron, right? Nice. Yeah, uh, this is one typical thing. We are speaking about the Green Deal and what is the biggest problem and biggest uh, production of CO2. This is the transport, the transport with the big boats. And uh, if you want to stop it, you have to re really decrease the production and the the uh, re really competition uh, competition between us and China. I am not sure, and I especially I am fighting for the local production, mm -hmm. and I think the local production is the best way how to stop the Green Deal and make uh, our nature much more stronger. Mm -hmm. Now, at the end, briefly, I would like to ask you about um, po um, protests by the Ukrainian border, because today protests initiated by Polish farmers ended in Hrebende, and I think all the protests along the, uh, the front, um, sorry, the border, are, are finished. Now, would you say this is a win for Ukraine? No, I think this is a win for every everyone. I think that we have to find the balanced position. We have to uh, stop the people, uh, the businessmen, what are taking from Ukraine uh, products, and they are declared these products as the European production. And we have to find the way how to bring through us the Ukraine production, uh, agriculture production to the third countries. I think that uh, everyone understands that we cannot have it so huge competition from Ukraine on agriculture sector. And I think that we have now find the balanced position because we want to help Ukraine on the other hand we don't want uh, really um, in this moment liquidate our uh, local farmers and our local production. Certainly. Well, uh, Tomasz Dekowski, Czech uh, member of European Parliament, thank you very much for discussing this issue. We enjoyed it. Thank you very much.